This is Eugene Penrickwich on the Laptop Screen Doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And uh, today we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen on a Toshiba Satellite L655 laptop computer. L655. Okay, uh, this one is actually uh, not too bad. What you have to do is to remove the plastic frame and then you remove the screen. The plastic frame is held down by four screws here and here and those screws are hidden by some black plastic covers. So let's go over the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need an exacto knife with a sharp point, a pair of metal tweezers to remove screws, and a small electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit and an extra small PH0 bit. So the first step to do with this laptop is to remove the plastic covers that are hiding the screws. That's what we use the X-Acto knife for. You can also use a razor blade if you want or pretty much anything sharp. Okay, so one, what I like to do with the plastic covers is put them on the side so that I don't lose them. Sometimes they're stubborn, sometimes they're not. So this one is a little bit more stubborn, but we got it. And let's go over here. Three and one more. Sometimes when I make these videos, I uh, remove the plastic covers ahead of time to save time. That's what I probably should have done this time. Okay. Almost there. And what happened with this one is that the adhesive got stuck on there, so we'll have to fix that. That's okay. All right. Next, we have the screws exposed. And what we need to do is just remove these screws and put them in a separate pile. So there's four screws that you have to remove. Now keep your screws from different parts of the assembly in separate piles like so, so that you know which screws to put where when you put the screen back together. So almost there, three. Sorry for the camera shake. It's sitting on my forehead. My kids always laugh at me when they see me like this. But that's how daddy makes money. All right. Next, we remove the plastic frame. So what I like to do is take my fingertips and go on the screen side and start gently lifting up the plastic frame and listen for the snapping sounds. When I hear the snapping sign sounds, that's a good sign. That means the screen, the plastic frame is coming off. Like so take your time on this. I, I do it a little bit quicker because I do this all the time. But it'll probably take a little bit longer for you. This is probably the hardest part of this job. So try not to break the frame. If you do, that's okay. It happens to me. Sometimes I try to avoid it, but sometimes it happens. And let's look this up. Okay, so it looks like we're stuck down here. What I like to do in this case is to use my plastic my metal tweezers to get it unstuck. And plastic frame is off. So we put it to the side. Next step, there's some mounting screws that mount the screen to the metal brackets on the side and they're usually on the side. Sometimes they're easy to get to, sometimes they're not. In this case, they're easy to get to. There's three screws on each side. So we take them off one by one. Not too bad. Sometimes we have to do some tricks to get to these screws, but not in this case. One. To make sure when you do this that the screen is tilted back a little bit. 
because once you remove all the screws, you don't want the screen to fall down forward because there's some connectors and cables on the back that can be damaged. Okay, almost there. Three more screws. One. Well, actually, there's two screws on this side. Interesting. Okay. I think this is... Yeah, it looks like the first time I've seen this in a video. This is Toshiba, someone at the factory in China. Forgot to put the screw in, in the middle. If the boss found out, the boss is going to be very mad. So let's not get this poor hapless worker in China in trouble. Alright. Next, we need to tilt the screen forward. The, sometimes the webcam cable runs down the middle and get, it's adhered to the back. But in this case, the webcam cable runs to the side, so we can tilt the screen forward and see what's going on here. So with this type of LED screen, there's only one connector that we have to worry about in the back. And we remove that. And what we have to do, there's some tape, hooked up the tape, and there's probably some adhesive on the back of it, the connector. Hooked it up a little bit, and then we just pull it back, like so. And the connector is removed, and the screen is free. So let's look at this screen. It's a 15.6 inch LED screen. As of early 2011, that's the most common type of screen that's used in laptops. So that's good news because you don't have to look too hard to find one. And let's look at the part number. So it's, I'm not sure if we got a good focus. Let's see, I guess. There we go. L156, LP156WH2. LP156WH2. That's all you have to do when you do your search. Uh, most likely you'll get a compatible screen that looks exactly the same with the connector in the same place and they're interchangeable. And make sure that the finish is glossy and the connector is in this place, which it most likely will be. And that's it. And when you're done, just reverse the procedure and put everything back and your laptop should be as good as new. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. All right, thank you.